Black Power family, I'm out here in Africa Town. Right now I am standing in what's become known as the Alley. Right here by Hot and Cool. Last night there was a shooting that took place back here in the parking lot. Uh, the person that got shot told us he had gotten robbed and afterwards the person for whatever reason still shot him. Then the person that was shot ran through the alley. There was a performance happening with a small crowd. Um, as he ran through, a lot of folks got up and, you know, a little pandemonium broke out for a second. And the brother ran and made his way all the way over here across the street. Well, I'm gonna show you, you know, he bled pretty bad for about 20 minutes before the police arrived but um, folks in the community did respond and provided assistance from applying pressure to his wound to you know regulating ourselves not letting the crowd get too crazy the brother sat here for a good um, over 15 minutes you know we want to thank our brother who stay with him, apply pressure and the sisters and others who talk to him, help, help him keep his eyes open. But finally when the police arrived on the west side of the street there were some cars parked as people were packing up after um, shutting down from yesterday's activities but the police came and the first two were somewhat reasonable. They respected the fact that community had took control of the situation were assisting their brother but as more police came they one packed this side of the street but then two you know began to get overly aggressive and uh many riot broke out but finally about five minutes after that how you doing brother the um fire trucks and paramedics arrived but because they were not able to get through they had to run from the corner down there on 48th Street over here to pick the brother up. And then once they took him off, um, the police continued to get aggressive and another mini riot broke out. And at one point we saw one of our sisters, um, for whatever reason, running down the sidewalk and she hit this phone booth, fell back, to the ground and uh, police immediately began to rush her and those of us that were across the street started to make our way but our way across the street to a sister but fortunately um, there was a black woman officer in charge and her and two other black officers three in total ran over and demanded their male counterparts to get off of the sister so that is something we did notice um, but there are some concerns, you know, as we've been stating, um, there are entities over here such as Community Bill, Robert Sarsado and others who have expressed interest in wanting to shut all of this down for whatever reason. And our concern right now is we know this time last year they were um, advocating to have another business around the corner shut down a brother who was running the um Lamert park village studios there was a shooting that took place in the parking lot back there and a lot of people attempted to put responsibility on um the brother that was running the Lamert park village studio because he had a crowd even though the shooting had nothing to do with his crowd. It was way on the other side of the parking lot. And, um, you know, they lobbied the, the city attorney and the city attorney pressed the brother. So he ended up abandoning that situation. So this is something where we do not want a great thing that has been happening out here to be shut down by the same entities now lobbying to have the city attorney try to find some way to criminalize what has been happening because one we know you know these situations happen has been proven over the past several months now where communities where resources are being neglected and police are being overfunded you know these things happen 
So on one end, whether it was a, um, you know, reactionary situation that took place or if something is being, you know, headed by community bill to to um, influence youngsters to do these type of situations to give them justification to push out those of us who they don't want over here. So that's something we'll be, you know, investigating, finding more out about. But we will very likely need those of you who have been enjoying, participating, and um, vending out here with this um, revival of Africa Town to very likely come get involved in future meetings that will be taking place over the next couple of weeks. Black power.